Hey, greetings, performance reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I did something stupid and bought something off eBay. Uh, I don't think they used the right box for this item, so let's see what we got. We should have a floor model, as you would have guessed it from the title, Lindhouse. Now, let's see how much it's been used. They didn't use much packing material, did they? This is one I'm not too worried about though. This is a pretty tough little machine, yeah. It's been scratched and kind of used and abused. Let's see, pull that out from there. Where's the handle? There is our cord, which we'll get here in a second. It's a giant one of these. Oh, well. They gave me some spare bags with it. I wasn't expecting that. I had purchased already a second set of spare bags. So there's that. And uh, well, this might be some of the original styrofoam looking from the shape of it. Uh, and then there's your wand. This is really lightweight, it's aluminum actually. I was not expecting that to be, uh, I thought that was steel, I didn't realize that was aluminum. And uh, I guess that could be used as a regular Lindhouse wand if you wanted to. So, uh, oh, I do have an instruction manual. Good, good. Looks like they printed that out. Uh, it's hard to say if that was the original one with Lynn House and what's going on in the U.S. So, let's see what condition the unit's in before I put it together. So, if you're not familiar with what this is, yeah, it's been used a little. I would say this was probably a floor model at a very dirty vacuum store, unfortunately. I will probably go blow this out, but if you're unfamiliar with what this is, this vacuum, go ahead and change the bag. Why not? We have bags. I don't want any of their old dirt. But if you know something about that bag, what's cool about that is if you notice the large opening on the bag, these are HEPA bags. The reason for this is to allow large item pickup. And this is the king of large item pickup. You know, I always see uh, people, you know, buying into that marketing fallacy of large item pickup being an issue, and it's really not. But if it was in your household, this is the machine for you. Yeah, you can see there's some Rice Krispies from their demo. We're gonna go ahead and just clean this out. And yeah, you can see there's a little bit of dust there. It's nothing bad. And being a Lind house, all that's just gonna clean up pretty easily. Not too worried about that. But I was curious there. And you can see they have a quick change brush roller system with this. So now that I have kind of cleaned it up, made sure that it's not got anything wrong or blocking it anywhere. Go ahead and put this back here. This is really a cool feature that you can just get to everything so so easily with this vacuum it's really made um, with ease of maintenance in mind <laughs> oh, I'd say they hardly used it um, yeah there's like kapok and stuff in there again I just want my own dust in there I don't want to have to worry about their dust being in there curious yep that all looks good and right. Uh, it's easy enough. You have a full bag check indicator with an adjuster. We'll see if that needs to be adjusted for my altitude here in a minute. Now you have room for the battery check indicator. Even though this doesn't have the battery, and you can see where the battery would have gone if this was the cordless model. Now, I had thought I was buying the cordless model when I purchased this, but you know, I like this vacuum so much, I'm really not disappointed in any way. Let's go over the feature set of the Lin House LS38, and this is the electric, which means it's the plug-in version, but most of these features are the same on the battery-operated version. Now there's a gate here, and what this does is lift up for large debris pickup. The maintenance of the machine is largely done with these two plastic things here. This lifts up and now we have access to everything. We have a post motor filter 
And you can replace this with the HEPA filter if need be. Um, I can't see why you'd really need that with the HEPA bag. The bag, there's a little red tab, pull out, and you can get to the bag. And that bag just tucks in, super easy. Now you can load the bag in upside down. Um, I, despite the bag um, being eccentric, I have gotten it to go both ways and have the case closed. So be mindful which way to do that. The pre-motor filter sits right here. Again, you change this every package of bags. You have a adjustable full bag check indicator, which I like. You also have toolless entry to this guy. So in case something were to get stuck, because this does do such large debris, you can get to the um, airway path very easily. I really like that. There is a gasket that goes all the way around this. So um, if this cover is got an air gap in it, it's sealing here, not around the edge. There's a rubber bumper infused around the edge of this. So let's put uh, the bag in here. Lynn House logo goes up on the bag, by the way. So all that goes together, cover sits in here. I do find if the gate is all the way open, it's easier to move the gate and put the cover back on. So let's just go like that. Now, let's talk about uh, what's over here. This is kind of a cool feature. This just lifts up and there's a cover here. And you can pull out the brush roller and the bearing separately. Both brush rollers just go like that. Um, they only go back one way. You see there's a flat side and a rounded side. You might need to give them a little bit of a turn as you put them back together. Very, very easy. Uh, this basically allows your maintenance guy or your on-site maintenance person to do this without having to bring it in. Now, there is a quick change plug down here. So that quick change plug goes in here and it's just your standard plug, uh, just like you find on so many other things. And that just plugs in right there, just like so. And very, very simple. If you were to chew this up or something, you could see how you could just easily uh, replace this. Again, you don't have to be an electrician. You don't have to know electricity. You just need to go order the cord. The pedal release is pretty, pretty heavy duty as well. It's a really chunky piece. Uh, my machine was made in 2017 in Italy. Uh, and again, I bought this used, so that's expected. Nice rubber wheels. And you have casters up front here. Nothing that's going to really scratch. The brushes are kind of, the black brush is kind of stiff. The white brush is really soft. I don't actually think this is going to scratch anything because this is a counter-rotating design. And there is a very large motor in here sucking uh, the debris and stuff. So I'm not really worried about debris or things uh, moving around in here too much. And then of course there's a full back chuck indicator right there. Now turning around like I, I just did, you can dump debris out of the bag. That's the nature of the shape of that large opening on the bag. Other than using the snap, it looks like assembly requires one screw in there. All right, let's, ah. And make sure when you do this, that you have it telescoped up a little bit. That way when you need to release the cord, you just telescope the handle down. Being able to adjust the handle to any size user is a huge plus. There's also plenty of cord. Now just for scale, there it is next to two very popular uprights. It's really not that much bigger. There is a safety shut off if you get something jammed in there. And you can see the red light is turned on. Remove the object. Reset the vacuum. Good as new. You know, I'm always being told how vacuums struggle with large debris. Well, this thing's existence is to handle large debris. Now, most vacuums don't struggle. Canisters do this just fine. Here's an example of how you clean up large debris with a canister. A lot of uprights do struggle.
This one seems to handle Cheerios just fine. Let's do some large debris pickup with the Lynn House and see how it does. I think it did all right. It made some noise though, that's for sure. Let's see what's in the bag. One under there. I think that did pretty good, all things considered. So you can see that this wide bag allows items to just pass through. The other thing that's going on in here, now that we have the bag off, is there's a debris channel if you do need to pull anything out of there as well. And that's toolless entry. In fact, most things that you'll do with this machine is, are toolless. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you're still subscribed to Performance Reviews. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who made this possible. I have no association with Lynn House uh, as of right now. This is literally just something I bought late night off eBay, uh, and our Patreon support made that happen. So big thank you to those guys. And those guys get exclusive content and some behind-the-scenes looks at Performance Reviews. So if you're interested... Go check that out, link below. Have yourself a wonderful day.